Hello, Brenton with All of Octane here. And in this video, I am going to open up some Lionel NASCAR Authentics, uh, both the haulers and the die cast, both the 82nd or the 87th scale and the 164th scale. So I have a hodgepodge of drivers here. I've got Haley Deegan, I've got Kyle Busch, that's my favorite driver, and I have Daryl Wallace Jr. So we're going to go ahead and open up some of these. Let's go ahead and start with the Haley Deegan car. So this is 2019 Wave 6. So that was actually a while ago. However, I was able to find this on the pegs recently. I had found a couple other ones prior to this point, but uh, it this is a really exciting car because I have one. Actually, I have two in the package. This is going to be the one that I open because she has now moved on from Toyota to Ford. And what will that mean for her career in the future? Who knows? Um, I think Haley Deegan has a bright, bright future. I do not think she is the next Danica Patrick, and uh, I'll probably write a blog about that eventually, but if you guys want to read anything about uh, anything that I write, diecast related and automotive related, you can go out to alloutoctane.com. I have links to all my social media there, including my blog. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. We've got uh, Haley Deegan, Napa Auto Parts, Idaho 206 winner, or I'm sorry, 208 winner. Uh, Meridian, Idaho, September 29th, 2018. So obviously this is a long time ago. This was wave six of 2019 and her win was 2018. It has some facts on the back of it. And again, she had a Toyota. So this was her Camry that she won in. You can see it has awesome graphics. It's got, uh, it's the race version. So it's a little beat up here and there in terms of tampos. She has a rookie stripe. But yeah, isn't that awesome? So now she is running with Ford. And obviously we haven't heard a whole lot about her recently, probably due to the whole uh, situation that's been going on in the world. So that's probably why we haven't heard anything about her or her moves into um, any other series. And it probably might delay everything too, to be completely honest. So I'm just glad that NASCAR is back. Let's go ahead and open up the Kyle Busch 187 scale cars. These are awesome. Again, I'm a Kyle Busch fan. You can agree to disagree. That is okay. Um, I tend to have probably controversial uh, likings, but I'm just a NASCAR fan in general. I, I like almost all the drivers. I was a Ryan Newman fan back in the day. I was a um, Jeff Gordon fan way back in the day. Uh, I've, I've just liked a numerous amount of drivers I like Martin Truex Jr. I like Joey Logano. Joey Logano was one of my favorites. Brad Keselowski is on and off. I like Ryan Blaney, Chase Elliott, all the new ones. So I just like NASCAR. But Kyle is my favorite. And there we have the Snickers car and the Skittles car. And the Skittles does have like the pearl paint job to it or the uh, sparkle kind of normally indicates a chase model, but I don't really know if that's what this is. Oh, it's liquid chrome, that's what they call it. Liquid chrome, and that's what this Skittles car has. But again, I don't know if that's chase. The William Byron car in the 187 scale has both the regular and the liquid chrome version as well. But uh, again, I don't know if those are chase models. In the 164th scale, they are chase models. Let's go ahead then and open up the Kyle Busch 200 wins. Uh, hauler. Now this is pretty exciting. Again, you can agree to disagree how he has accomplished those wins, but he still has a numerous amount of wins in the Cup Series as a whole. So regardless of his truck and his Xfinity Series wins, even in the Cup level, he has done quite phenomenally. So you can't really fault the guy on winning in that regard. Now if he were to stick strictly to Cup would he win more? I don't know. Uh, I think part of the reason why he wins so much is the practice that he gets in all the other series. And that could be argued that he shouldn't be racing in those. And that's fine too. But uh, it is kind of one of those things where he does have trucks that he sponsors or that he owns. He owns a truck team. So as an owner, you kind of, I guess, get the privilege to drive. Uh, that was definitely back in the day. You had Shelby who would run his own teams back in the day. In the early days of NASCAR, you were both an owner, or you could have been an owner and a driver. John Force does that in 
NHRA. So unless there's some rule that outlines or outlaws that, I have a feeling that will keep going. And I apologize. I don't really know why this hauler is taking so much, wow, to get open. I had a feeling, oh, there's one in the front. Well, we know for the next truck not to do that. <laughs> so here is Kyle Busch's 200 win truck. And you can see on the sides, there's the same on both sides. They didn't change that up on the graphics um, as they did on the other trucks. And then here is the semi. We have a classic Freightliner. Good stuff. And it's not a single wheel rear end. It is a double wheel. So the trucks now are not 18 wheelers. Normally they have one large back tire in each corner and then also one large back tire on the uh, trailer. I don't know if the NASCAR haulers are like that, but I do know that if you watch semis going over the road, they are no longer 18 wheelers. So you can count them up. They normally have two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. They're 10 wheelers. Let's go ahead and then put that there. And let's go ahead and get to probably the coolest paint scheme on a car. And that is Daryl Wallace Jr. He has the Flying Tiger uh, Aim High Air Force car. So here is the 164th scale of Daryl Wallace Jr. It was part of the 2019 Wave 11, so much farther on than the Haley Deacon car. You can see on the back, those were the cars part of that. That would have been the Chase model. If it was in liquid chrome, was William Byron's 24. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up Daryl Wallace's car. And here's the magnet that comes with it. That thing is cool. If I had a toolbox to put that on, it would be on it. And then we have the iconic number 43, originally driven by Richard Petty. I believe Kyle drove it. Maybe not. And then now we have Bubba or Daryl Wallace Jr. driving this. And again, look at that paint scheme. Flying Tiger Camaro. Iconic 43, there's the sides. These cars are very well tampoed, very well detailed. There's the rear of it, or I'm sorry, the underside. And then let's go ahead and open up his hauler. So we have the matching hauler. I'm actually really glad they decided to, to uh, make the hauler for this truck as well. There we go, got a knife. So let's make this a lot easier to open. I apologize on the first truck. I did not know it was gonna be that hard, but I guess from a safety security standpoint, you would want it to be a little difficult so you don't have to just open up the package and walk away with the semi. There we go, that slid right off. Man, that looks good. That holler in gray looks amazing. And you have the 43, zoom. All right, but let's take a look at this aim high hauler. So there we go. There is Petty with the Flying Tiger. And then there's Daryl, all happy to be on the side of the truck. And there it is in action. And then here is the Freightliner. I believe all the haulers on these scales are Freightliners. But that is really cool. Kind of has like a stealth fighter kind of thing to it with the graphics right there. And it's almost kind of a matte gray on the semi. I don't know if the car is in that same color or not. Now it's a little more gloss on the car. So you can kind of see in the light kind of glares off of it a little different. Yeah, it's slightly different shades of gray, but it's still in the same family. Looks amazing. And if you've been watching NASCAR, you know that it's he did really well at Talladega. That was exciting to see. Hopefully he can keep doing really well as in the next couple of races. Maybe he can get a win, get in the hunt for a championship. But uh, there we go. There are some NASCAR cars. Again, I like to open these for you guys because I like NASCAR. Um, if you like NASCAR as well, let me know if you want to see any kind of other cars. Uh, my budget's pretty limited. I only have a, a budget for pretty much Hot Wheels and Matchbox and then occasionally these uh, NASCAR cars. But again, until the next one, have a good one.